Hi guys, welcome back to our channel Physio Vibes Anatomy. This is the part 2 video of the elbow joint. Those who haven't seen the part 1 yet, I'm giving the link of the part 1 elbow joint video in the description box. You can watch it and then watch the part 2. So now we are getting into the topic. So in last video we saw till the ligaments of the elbow joint so in this video we'll be discussing about the blood supply nerve supply that is innovation and the important topic in the elbow joint that is carrying angle then the movements and clinical importance so let's get started so the blood supply of the elbow joint blood supply is by the anastomosis around the elbow anastomosis is nothing but the connection of blood vessels like we have plexus in nerves anastomosis is the collection of blood vessels numerous blood vessels connecting together to form an anastomosis so the anastomosis around the elbow supplies the joint then the nerve supply of the elbow joint that is the innervation so these are the four nerves which supply the elbow joint musculocutaneous nerve radial nerve, median nerve and ulnar nerve these are the major nerves from the brachial plexus all these nerves coming from the brachial plexus so it supplies the elbow joint now let's see the movements of the elbow joint as i said in the beginning it is an uniaxial joint so the movements can only occur in only one axis so there are only two movements this is elbow flexion that is bending the elbow elbow flexion and bringing back to its original position this is extension so elbow flexion and extension now i am going to explain you about the carrying angle of the elbow here you can see my elbow is fully extended and supinated this is pronation this is supination so fully extended and supinated elbow so now you can see my arm and forearm is not in the same line can you see the difference the arm is this line and the forearm is slightly deviated from the line of the arm so this slight lateral deviation makes an angle of 13 degree that is called the carrying angle of the elbow so the carrying angle is nothing but the slight deviation of the forearm in the lateral side so that the arm and forearm does not lie in the same line that is because of the carrying angle the slight deviation so the normal carrying angle is 13 degree in humans if the carrying angle is more that clinical condition is known as cubitus valgus if the carrying angle is less that is known as cubitus varus so now let's see the important and final topic of the elbow joint which is the clinical anatomy so in that the first one is dislocation dislocation of the elbow joint is very common and it is mostly posterior that is the radius and ulna are displaced posteriorly it may be because of the fractures of ulna or radius like in the coronoid process of ulna or head of radius may get fractured so this dislocation can damage the vessels or nerves which is crossing the elbow so there is a danger of injury to the nerves and vessels especially brachial artery and other nerves which crosses the elbow so then the next one is the supracondylar fractures this is a transverse fracture occurring above the level of epicondyles in humerus there will be two condyles this is medial epicondyle this is lateral epicondyle so the fracture can happen here the supracondylar fractures these fractures can happen when the person is falling outstretched and when the elbow is extended and the wrist is dorsiflexed so that time the supracondylar fractures can happen and this can cause injury to the vessels or nerves in that region also so then the final the third important condition is the student's elbow which is a very important 
so the student's elbow this is because of the bursitis happening at the back of the elbow the olecranon bursa will be there below the olecranon bursa falna so repeated pressure over the bursa like uh, students we will be listening to seminars we will be listening to classes while doing that we will be holding our uh, elbow the back of the elbow will be pressuring it in the desk in the table right so that time the repeated pressure over that bursa causes the bursitis and that bursitis that condition is known as the student's elbow you can take a screenshot of these topics in an exam point of view the elbow joint can be asked in five mark question that is in short notes so you have to be writing all these topics without fail so hope you guys understood we'll meet in the next video in the next topic god bless you